Hi everyone, it is time for episode 7 of Tagtastic, the challenge by Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda. And today's project is little matchbook tags. So I've already made three, just to keep these videos a little shorter, because I noticed some people were putting out super short videos. And then I thought, why am I making mine so long? <laughs> so I apologize if that is a problem. Um, so here's three that I've made. I sort of started decorating them. Um, these are super simple and you can use scraps for this one. So this was a piece of um, collage that I made and it's on cardstock and then inside I put some coffee dyed copy paper just to give it a little better writing surface. This one I did this uh, paper I did on the jelly plate and I've been wondering how to use it so I just inked a little bit on the inside and that will be one and I put some lace on there. I also gave this a decorative edge which I think is kind of pretty. I like that edge so much I did another decorative edge on this one. This is a piece of digital and I just um, put more copy paper inside for writing on. And this is a hot glue seal and a piece of broken feather that I had laying around so I put that in there. It kind of reminds me one of, of those um, boa things that um, women used to throw into men's faces. <laughs> Probably from some movie that I watched when I was younger. Alright, so <laughs> these are the three that I've finished and I just wanted to show you how you can use um, scraps. So this is a digital that I had from, uh, I think it was digitalcollage.com. It's called Making and Creating now. It's a um, subscription website. a little bit of an investment if you think of it all at once but they have so many things on their website that you have access to that I think it's totally worth it and so I'm going to just what I want to do is kind of keep it to the size of my writing sheets here so roughly that wide and let's just trim this on the fold here so yeah these are actually really fun and easy to make um, Tina said that it was a little counterintuitive because you attach it at the top, but I think for myself it's, it actually makes it easier. So it, you know, it could just be how my mind works, I guess. Okay, so you can obviously make these whatever size you like. I just take um, eight and a half by 11 and I leave the 11 length and then I fold it up as high as I want to go leaving room for my flap there so roughly there and then fold this over and for this you want it to fold so that you can still slip that. You want to leave some room. You don't want this to go all the way to the edge. And 
then because this is just copy paper I'm going to line it with my other paper This is a cute way to add some more journaling space. Of course, we want to glue that down here so that there's some resistance there when you go to tuck in the bottom piece. And I need one more piece. just tuck that in there and that's that so the only directional thing comes in when you decide which is going to be your top so and which is going to be your front because it's going to be right side on one side and then upside down on the other side so just something to keep in mind Then I snip the angles at the end so that I can kind of line up where I want the um, the opening to be and my angle cut there. And then all that's left to do is decorate and ink. Oh yeah, ink that. And this is a little bit flimsy here. Not sure if I like that, but if I wanted to, I could even put in another piece of paper because I have plenty. So maybe I'll do that. Just so it gives it a little bit of um, weight. So I just glued a piece in and I'm going to trim it. So the series is almost over. I'm not, I thought there was seven in the series, which would make this the last one, the last episode. Um, but I already see Tina has an episode eight where she's decorating some things, so. We shall see. All right, so there's that. And then it might just have to um, dry a little bit. Like so, and obviously that's a summer one, I guess, because it's got sea stuff, sea stuff, ocean themed things on it. All right, so all that paper I had cut for using for journaling spots, I am now at the very end of my pieces. So I think I'm gonna call that a success. So of these little matchbooks, matchbook tags, I have five. And they came together super quick, so nothing there but um, 
you know, wonderful things. I was thinking what to put on this one. You know, I still have those little bling things with the seashells. I just found this. This would be another good one for for a frame, which I don't have made right now. All right, I found a few things while I was looking for this seashell bling. And I'm just gonna put this up top. Also a cool dollar store find. So there's that. Then I found these images that I'm going to put here. And I had no idea what I was going to do with these when I printed them out. But I'm happy to say I'm glad I have them because if I didn't already have them, I wouldn't probably go looking for them. So there's that. Some people say we crafters hoard things. I think it's just a matter of having things on hand to use when you need them. That's my take on it. That's an anchor, which is my symbol for my hope in Jesus. Those who put their hope in him shall not be disappointed. And so based on his promises, I can relax and enjoy my life because he's part of my life. All right, that is that. That's all I'm going to decorate for right now. Um, but yeah, I do hope you check out the challenge. Tina gives better instructions than I probably ever could. Oh, there's another one I found. And so, have fun. Create something today. It'll make you feel better. And a lot of us need to feel better these days. So, all right. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.